I don't know if I'm going to make any more videos for this channel, ever. And I've already taken off a few because they don't really fit with the channel's theme, which is basically slightly deranged, crazy, immature girl. That's what the theme of the channel was. But I've changed so much since I made my last video. I've moved a thousand miles away from home. I've gotten married. And I don't like statictricity anymore. I just don't like it. Um, so this is goodbye. And I don't know what I'm going to do next. But I just want to say this one thing. When you're insecure and you don't know what to do, you don't know who you are, that sometimes can be the best place for you to be. And it doesn't mean that you can't grow and that you can't be more confident, but every day we are tempted to think higher of ourselves, to think that we know who we are. Even now, I'm tempted to think that I know that what I'm saying is going to change someone's mind. And it very well may or may not. <laughs> I don't know. And I took down the video to the atheist. I took down the video to celebrities. I don't know if any of you watched those, but they're gone. I mean, I had to, I didn't delete them, but they're just they're just gone because it's not what this channel was about. And I know it's just a channel, but I want my life to make sense. And the only way I can make this channel make sense anymore is to trim it down and to stop producing content on it. I won't stop producing content, ever. So, at the very least, if you're not insecure, you better get insecure as fast as you can because there's just so many things to be insecure about. And then you need to get to the point where you're going insane and you're going mad and you're weeping. And then after you've gotten to that point, there's probably going to be something to pick you back up. And you're, you might be tempted to say, I'm never going to go back. I'm never going to, to go back to where I was. But that's not life. Unfortunately, it's not. You have to go back over and over again, or you're dying. You have to do that over and over again. You have to feel the whips of life. And I'm sorry, Optimus. I'm sorry, but I will probably never be a very good friend to you. To those who are cheerful, to those who are, are excited about movies, excited about creating things. How can you even care? I just, I do it in the spur of the moment, but as soon as I stop to think, it's the stupidest thing in the world. It's not going to do anything at all. So I'm just hoping that anyone who watches those videos, God will be there as much as they were as much as he was in my life at that time cuz he was there he will be there and he will be able to do something with those videos but i seriously seriously have to move on because if i don't i'm going to die here 
And I just want to say another thing before I leave that uh, how do I say this? <sighs> okay. This is this is how I'm going to say. For those of you interested in writing, interested in filmmaking, interested in really any sort of thing that people like to call the arts, um, or really, yeah, we'll just, ah, okay, a screenplay. You write a screenplay. You film the screenplay. If you're lucky, you actually film it. And then... If you're an independent filmmaker, you may also edit the screenplay after it's filmed. So you're editing the footage. <clears throat> if for one second you start to hold on to the footage, even if it doesn't belong, even if it's weighing down the story, even if you're only holding on to it because you came up with it, or you're only holding on to it because it just works so well, or there was a coincidence and it just looks so beautiful. And there's, it doesn't matter how beautiful it looks, how great you thought it was going to fit in or how much effort you put into creating that scene and how much money was spent. If you need to let it go, let it go, kill it, cut it. And if you can't cut it, then You've got to find another way, like you've got to find something to basically remove that. You know, it's just, you, you've got to be open to the fact that you have to change. You always have to be open to that. And that's the only thing that you have to be open to, really. I mean, I believe that there is a God. I believe in the God of the Bible and Jesus is divine. And that's what I believe. Okay. That is the one thing that I believe. It's getting to the point where definitions of words, I, I can't even sit through a sermon and stay sane. Like I just cannot hardly tolerate anything. I'm so sensitive nowadays. I'm extremely sensitive and I could be more sensitive, but I just like, I, I cannot even talk to people. I can't even hardly interact with my husband, which is actually I can, but it's just like, that's it. Because I question so many things, you know? And it's not that I don't think I will, I will resolve those definitions, but the only thing that I can cling to is God. Who, what is this thing that is the most important? And, it, and to me, it's the person of Christ. That is the only thing. And if you research Christ, if you know who Christ is, you know you know him. And he killed the things that we could not kill. There's, you're never going to, you're never going to end world hunger. You're never going to bring peace to the world. Who do you think you are? Even if we all bonded together, do you realize how insignificant we are? An asteroid could just crash right into us. We're going to keep climbing these ropes and getting higher and higher only to find that there's more rope at the top. But God set us up for that. So he has the authority to show us that we don't have to climb ropes anymore and to get us off of them. Long story short of it, a lot of things in my life are going to change and I just want to let you guys know and I'm not sure how I can 
let you know when I've either created a new channel or started doing other work. Um, I, I don't know. Just, I guess just Google Amy Escobar. That's my new name. E-S-C-O-B-A-R. And maybe you'll find me again. And this is kind of sad, I know. But I'm not deleting the videos. I'm just not creating any more and I don't want them to go away. At least the ones that really, really represented that time in my life. So, I know this is rambling on, but... Just had to say this. I'm optimistic. I really am. I've always thought of myself as an optimist. And I hope someday that I can communicate that better.